All right, this is the Black & Decker 3-in-1. It's a 230 mile per hour blower. It is a vacuum and it also mulches the leaves after you vacuum them up. Let me show you what you get with this and why I got it. Two reasons I got this. One, my wallet. Two, I have a townhouse backyard. It's 50 foot long by 20 foot wide. The electric unit's perfect for me. This part itself is the main motor blower unit and it weighs about six pounds. So it's got some weight to it. It's about 16 inches this way, nine inches this way and 14 inches this way, roughly 14 inches. Two speed device, you've got an off, speed one and speed two. Got a couple of handles here that you can hold on to. On the bottom here is a cover to cover the fan. So there's two switches on here. You just press in and remove and they snap back on. And there's also the same type of button right here that you're gonna use to remove the blower tube. Get a set of instructions with it that are nice. It came packaged very nicely. This stuff's taken apart. This just snaps together. Once you get this piece together right here for the blower section, it's pretty much staying together. You can probably get it off with a screwdriver, but I'm leaving it on. And they've also given you this little end that can snap onto here. Going to direct air even more, you can do that. Or if this is removable, you can take it off. This is the vacuum section. It comes in two pieces. There's kind of a notched out section right here and two little triangle holes on here that are gonna line up to this notched out section and these two triangle holes. And this just snaps on. On. and you get a leaf bag that's going to attach onto the blower side of the unit first things first you're going to want to make sure you have the proper amperage outdoor cable for this this is a 12 amp unit and you're going to want to make sure you have the cable that's capable of handling that amperage if you don't it'll heat the unit up and apparently there's an internal fuse inside of here that can blow if it overheats and you can take it apart and replace it according to the instruction manual but make sure you have the proper cable right here i have a 14 gauge three conductor 50 foot cable so if you want to use this as a blower just as simple as snapping this on here there you go you're set up to be a blower so if we want to convert this into a vacuum and a mulcher just as simple as removing the blower section we're going to remove this bottom section and this section just sits in here like this fits into that slot and locks into place and now we've got a vacuum unit the bag itself just attaches to the blower side if you want to use the bag and it has a shoulder strap on it. It goes on like that and you're holding it like this. So on the cable side of this just has the two points sticking out. One's larger than the other one so you can only put this in the right way. And when you do that there's a little place in here to hook your cord onto it. Slide it under there, lock it into place and now you've got some pull protection on it. Try it like that. So since I'm going to use it as a blower I'm going to put this piece back on. Attach my hose, let's see how it works. It's pretty intense, wow. All right, let's try this vacuum section. I gotta get the camera on this, this is pretty cool. This is like using a vacuum cleaner, wow pulling stuff right off the wet ground. It's kind of cool this thing's angled. So when you're holding it this way, you kind of got an angle on it in the ground. So let's try with the bag. Okay, this is awesome. This is great for getting the stuff that's stuck along the fence and inside the fence too. Obviously, I would probably want to blow this into a huge pile and just vacuum it up at once, but everything's wet right now. And this is perfect for that. I can just, it's like vacuuming the floor. 